Question 23. A container is filled with water in 5 seconds. The graph shows the depth of water d at time t seconds. The water flows into the container at a constant rate. Which diagram represents the container? So we need to go through these diagrams in turn. So A represents a container where the water would come in at a constant rate and we'd expect the depth to be constant. Clearly this graph is not constant, the actual slope of the graph changes, so it's not A. The next one, B, is a large base and a small top. So we'd expect that the depth would increase slowly at the start and it would start to increase rapidly towards the end. A slow increase in the depth would correspond to a shallow curve towards the start and a steeper curve at the end. However, here we have a steeper curve at the start and a shallow curve at the end. So it can't be B. For C, we have that there's a small uh, width at the bottom and a larger width at the top, so we expect the depth to increase quickly at the start and slow down towards the end, which is actually what we have. There's a quick increase here, and it's starting to slow down towards the end. So it's likely to be C. We'll check D just to make sure. Here, the width is smallest at the bottom and the same width at the top, and it's largest in the middle. So we'd inspect, expect the depth to increase quickly at the start, and then it would start to increase slower towards the middle and start to increase quickly again. We don't have that here. We've definitely got a steepness here and a bit more shallow here. So it's kind of slowing down as you go through, which is exactly what we want to see. Question 23b. Use the graph to estimate the rate at which the depth of water is increasing at three seconds. You must show your working. So what I've done is I've put a tangent through that touches the graph at three seconds, and then I've put in some construction lines to try and estimate the height of the change in y over the change in x. Calculate the gradient, so we want change in y over change in x, which for my graph is 7.5 increase in y, and the increase in x is 1.95. So 7.5 over 1.95 was approximately 3.8. The mark scheme states that whatever you've done on your graph, provided the tangent is constructed correctly and that you've measured these correctly, um, given the distance on the axes, whatever you've done, provided you've done the right, correct calculation, change in y divided by change in x, um, the mark scheme accepts that provided that calculation is correct, that your answer will be correct. It may be slightly different to mine, but that should be fine.